you go to Etsy and let's see like this one right here, Butterfinger Funny Candy Bar parody, one of the things that you'll notice is if you go to just like the Etsy search bar and this is, you know, product research 101, you wanna make sure that you find something that is hot selling but isn't super oversaturated. But if we just type this into the search bar, you'll see that there's a number of other sellers all selling the same exact design on the same exact t-shirt, right? It's the same yellow background. They're just copying each other because they know that that design has sold for somebody else. The issue with that is if you're not hopping in early and ranking your products early when somebody searches for a specific keyword or search term, or you're not willing to pay for ads to drive yours up in search results to get those sales, you're really kind of SOL because you're not bringing anything different to the actual market and you're copying the exact t-shirt that other people have already ranked, right? You'll see Butterfinger, 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 Butterfinger finger a little bit of a different color but there's a number of other sellers already selling the same exact t-shirt and obviously we put other keywords in here but if we just go like super broad butterfinger a shirt i bet you there's a bunch of them there we go there we go there we go there we go and you get the picture right this one actually isn't too too bad there's another one so this one actually isn't super oversaturated but i wouldn't recommend doing this anyway because you might get an ip claim because obviously butterfinger is a brand so i would stay away from this anyway but the cool thing about the ai image tool that we just covered is we could take Take this same exact t-shirt and we could copy it make it a little bit bigger this isn't the best high quality uh image but let's go get this one maybe there we go that's better and then we'll just take a snippet image of it you could also just right click and save it grab the image save it and take it back into the background remover and again this is why you don't need any graphic design skills because with tools like zmo.ai you can just do it all automatically with ai online it's crazy put that in there it's going to remove the yellow background and you're just going to be left with the butt finger t-shirt so if you put that in there as you can see here it took out the majority of the background and then what you could essentially do is you could put it on a different color you could also take it into generate background and then give it some command prompts so for example you could upload another image if you wanted to put it on a specific background yourself. So if you had a specific design that you wanted to put on it, you could also click freeform right here and tell it what you wanted to put on it. So if you wanted to put this on like a background full of candy bars, you just say like lots of different candy bars and then put it on a background of lots of different candy bars. And again, then you're bringing a similar shirt that's proven that would show up in search results that we already know is proven on Etsy, like I said, but with a completely different background. So this one isn't the best example of this because it kind of put it at the bottom there. But let me show you a different one. And this AI tool obviously is not perfect, but it is getting better. So for example, if we took this one, this one's a little bit simpler and you might think that like recreating design like this is easy, right? It's just lettering. It's just text. And so I used to think the same thing when I would be like, I'm just going to replicate this design. Like I'm going to take it into Photoshop and I'll type these letters. It'll look very similar and I'll be able to make it on my own. I don't need to hire a graphic designer, but I don't know if I'm just bad at creating, you know, graphic design images, or if obviously my skills aren't up to par with like some of the other people, which they clearly aren't, but it was a lot harder than I actually anticipated even on simple text designs like this. But again, you don't need skills like that anymore because you can just take these. So if we save that and we take it back into the background image remover, paste it in there, it should take the black away. And then we're just going to be left with the text design design so we don't need to recreate it at all and then we could put it on a blue background instead we could put it on a yellow background maybe a white background if we wanted or what we could do is we could go generate background again you can also put in an image that you already have in mind if you wanted to put it on a specific design or maybe you wanted to put it on like some old person's face or whatever or you can go to freeform and tell it what you want to put in there so you can also choose the number of images so if you want it like to give you eight variations instead of four you could just go up just keep in mind that will take some of your credits away if you want to keep it like for t-shirts obviously you want to go 9 by 16 but if you were creating this and utilizing this for a YouTube thumbnail then you'd want to go vertical with 16 by 9 so for example let's say we want to put this on a faded old man's face I don't know if that's going to come up with how about a gray haired old man's face and see what comes up with now again this is the best t-shirt idea but I'm just giving you examples of how you can kind of take what's already proven this same exact text design rank it with the same SEO and that way when people see this t-shirt you're bringing a new spin to the marketplace even though we already know this similar design is going to sell and now you've brought in something different to the marketplace that people can either say hey I want the original or I want something completely new so you could put this one that's not a bad one this one's not a bad one either again you can play around with this to give it different text prompts another really cool function of this software again too is 
if you wanted to swap something out so for example if you wanted to upload this picture let me show you an example from one of my thumbnails like if we wanted to upload this picture right here and we wanted to swap something out we'd let it process and once it processes you can choose different parts of the image and again this is completely crazy because if you just download or take a snippet of somebody's actual image, for example, like if we would go back to Etsy and we wanted to use this one right here, now this is kind of a blurry image, but if you maximize this a little bit, there it gets a little bit better. And then you could just take a snapshot image of it, upload this specific image into the image switcher on ZMO.ai and maybe take out the raccoon in the background and put a fox or maybe put like a platypus or whatever. It's a really cool tool that allows you to recreate designs that are very similar similar, which is the name of the game when you're starting and you don't need graphic design experience. So for example, if we wanted to take Benjamin Franklin out, we could do that. We just hover over and make him purple. And then we'd tell him what we wanted to switch it to. If we wanted to change the hundred to maybe a Euro, then we would type in Euro. We'd select the hundred dollar bill in purple there. And we click confirm mask and create. And it's just going to switch that to a Euro with Benjamin Franklin's face on it. And there you go. Now we probably should have selected Ben Franklin as well, because obviously he is not on the Euro. But as you can see here, it switched it to a Euro looking thing with Ben Franklin's face. So these are all a little strange money looking things, but you get the picture here. This is a really cool tool that you can also utilize